Hey everybody, it's my 40 gallon native tank and I just wanted to shoot a little quickie here. Came down, just got the lights turned on first thing in the morning and the first thing I noticed was the exoskeleton or the sloughed shell of a crayfish. Now I know it looked like it just moved but that is an empty shell and that is simply the current causing a little bit of motion and movement in there. So we now have a soft shell crayfish in the tank somewhere. They are extremely vulnerable when they are soft shell. Even these little minnows you see in here could nip at their legs and remove the um, you know, small appendages. The other crayfish, of course, with their claws can simply rip them to shreds because there's no protection on them. They're completely soft. They're literally just soft meat and they are extremely vulnerable. Um, I believe it's for about two days that they are actually vulnerable. The shell will slowly get harder as time goes on, but for the next day or so, we've got a really, really vulnerable crayfish in here. Well, you know what? For a moment there, I thought that was gonna be a dead crayfish because when I picked it up it actually felt fairly substantial this is still kind of meaty and soft so that lets me know this just happened this must have just sloughed its way out of the shell and I've had people come in in the past about my use of the term sloughed yes these are molting crayfish but the word slough basically just means uh, to shed your skin or to shed a shell and I've just always used the term slough back from my days of keeping snakes. And when they would shed their skin, I always referred to it as their slough. And I just always do the same thing when it comes to the crayfish or crabs or any other crustacean that molts. So technically, yes, that is a molt, but I call it a slough. So there you go. All right, everybody, got to get my day started. Just wanted to get that on video. We do now officially have a soft shell crayfish in the tank. Well, we'll see how long we have a soft shell crayfish in the tank. Hopefully it'll survive and we'll continue having five crayfish in here. The last I counted was three at once. And if I don't see all of them at one time, I can't be sure if I'm not, you know, double counting them if I see them moving around. So when I see three at once, I know that there's at least three of them still in here when I originally had put five in there. But as of yet, I have no reason to believe that any of the ones that were in here have gotten out or have been you know killed uh, by the other crayfish or anything i haven't seen any little bits and pieces lying around or whatever so i'm assuming i've still got the five crayfish in here so there you go gotta get my day started thanks for watching don't forget this one is my native tank hope you enjoyed that i'll see you real soon in the next one